Hello Internet, Magic Man here again from MMOBomb.com with another first look video and today we're taking a look at Face of Mankind, the free-to-play persistent world MMO brought to you by Duplex Systems and Nexion Technologies. Now this game originally came out in 2006 as a download retail box game, had some problems but was later resurrected by both Duplex and Nexion and now you have the free-to-play version here. We're going to spend about 15 minutes in the game going through some uh, character customization, get you a little bit of a feel for the game to see if it's for you. If you want more information, as always, head on over to MMOBomb.com for all things free-to-play related, and when the video is over, please be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. We love hearing your feedback. So right off the bat, you do get to create a character. You're fairly limited as far as some of the attributes. We're going to go with a female just as a tribute to Knox's article on the uh, MMOBomb.com site. Pretty much random everything else. You can flip through and see what you like there, but it's all preset options, not a real uh, lot of customization for you individually. So let's get... Um, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Now, to start the game, we do have to give it a full name. This game, if you expect to jump in and just be killing, you know, 15 boars and, and uh, combat and action real quick off the top, not this game. You're going to have to get into the game a little bit before you start seeing some items like that. I'll explain why in a minute. But since the game is very heavy into role-playing and a persistent world where the uh, players pretty much dictate everything from the economy to the combat to the wars that are going on for various worlds, they make you create two names here. So we'll be Magic Woman... And uh, you can make a little mission statement for yourself if, if you want. Uh, we'll just shamelessly plug the website. That works. Now you can skip the tutorial, and we're going to for this video. I would highly recommend, though, taking the tutorial your first time in here. The game offers very little in the sense of direction off of the beginning. Again, this has to do with the heavy role-playing aspect to the game. Uh, so I'm going to skip the tutorial, but to get the controls and everything down, because some of them are a little unique, you definitely want to take the tutorial first time around. Now we do get an ad here, you'll see they're plugging the premium accounts. There's a free-to-play version, which is what you're seeing now. They do still offer a $9.99 US uh, monthly subscription base, and what you get for that subscription is, of course, additional features. Additional bag space, the ability to, to have more clones, um, all kinds of things like that. Upgrades to your apartment, some of them are equipment based. So, This is our apartment as we log in here. We can get some uh, multicom going there. We've got our, wow, that's kind of a crappy bedroom, but whatever. Smallest kitchen ever with not one appliance or sink. So futuristic type world. Uh, toilets apparently haven't evolved much. But we're going to get out of our apartment here. And we're going to jump down to, uh, we'll go to New York. The game consists of a multitude of worlds here. And there's eight factions in the game. Now, after the tutorial, you'll actually get to choose your, your faction as you progress through the beginning areas here. Right now, we're in the training center, so I'm still protected under the newbie rules and, and can't be killed. Once I leave this training center, however, that's it. It's no holds barred. So, right off the bat, you notice the graphics, yeah, they're a little dated. I mean, the game was originally developed in 2006, did get some updates, but it holds up pretty well. Nothing that you're going to write home to mom about or anything. Right now I don't have any equipment on either, so we'll take the teleporter here. Now once I leave, no longer be protected by hard-coded mechanics, which means I can be killed at any time. Now I don't have anything in my inventory, so I can't equip anything. We're gonna we're gonna take a look right off the top of the game though you do see on the right we do have quite a few objectives here so right now we're gonna try to guard the lo the mall location in New York Brooklyn now you see most of them are time based and they give you obviously experience usually about two to three thousand experience once you get ten thousand experience you'll automatically be given rank one uh, after that though you really need to communicate and roleplay with 
your particular faction to advance. Your promotions are based on what happens with the higher-ups within your factions. For instance, you have the police who do exactly what they, they you would think they would do. They're the police of the game. They're the ones that patrol newbie environments to kind of try to control some griefing going on. Um, you have mercenaries that, again, exactly what you think mercenaries would do. And all of these different factions are competing for resources, competing to be able to craft items. They could have agendas that are built by the players to take out other factions, control global economies, even massive PvP battles on uh, various worlds to try and take control. So you've got an awful lot going on that I'm not just not going to be able to show you in 15 minutes. So it's definitely something you should check out if you're into that role-playing, working together uh, aspect of the game. So right now we're headed to the production hall. That's nice. Now these different pools and pods over here, There's you'll see these different types of, of things all throughout the game. These are the faction pools. So let's see... I'm going to go ahead and use them. I've got to be a member of the Brother of Shadows to use that one. One aspect uh, of the game that I do like, obviously you have your general chat and your whisper and things like that. You also have a faction chat where if you're a police officer, you can communicate to all police officers throughout the game uh, in one chat channel. So pretty, pretty neat in that respect. Somebody's shouting hey at me, but we're going to ignore that for a second there. If that's a fan of the site, I'm sorry, I'm recording. So let's see what we've got up here. Now somebody's... What the hell was that? All of a sudden I go glowy. So in the upper right-hand corner, you'll notice you see the, the human body there. That's my character, all gray because I don't have any armor on. I would turn light blue if I had armor on. You do get armor and base starting weapons if you go through the tutorial. Red bar is my health. We also have the green bar, which is my consciousness. If that falls and turns red at any point, so here's our auction Welcome house. To the market terminal. If that falls and turns red at any point, then we'll be stunned. We also have stamina, running and jumping, uh, way on the stamina. This is really old school for, for some of you fans of the early EverQuest days. Um, there is permadeath in the game here. This number is how many clones I'm carrying. Again, a feature that I'm only allowed to carry 20 at the moment, but if you do the premium membership you are allowed to carry more. If you run out of clones and money at any time so that you cannot buy more clones and you die, your character is dead. You will receive a message telling you that you have no money, you have no clones, your character is dead, you need to reroll. So, Permadeath, little hardcore, if you're into that, this, this game's got that for you as well. Now right now I have no idea where the hell to go, and I don't want you guys to just see environment. So I'm going to do something that I never, ever, ever do in the first look videos, just because of how in-depth this game can be. I'm going to actually stop recording for a second, try to get you guys to some action, and then we'll pick it right back up there. So I'll see you in uh, two seconds. All right, so we're back. We've got a, something going down here. I'm not quite sure what. Looks like uh, a bunch of guys in different factions are pulling out weapons in the mall, which, uh, not so good. In the mall, there's actually uh, lasers. You see these things on the walls that will shoot people that pull out a weapon. Uh, I learned that one the hard way as well. So now you see we've got a little more armor, though. We've got the, uh, the weapon there in the hot slot on the left. We've completed three out of five objectives to, to get our civilian ranking. The next two are time-based, so we've got to just let some game time tick away. 11 minutes on Peaceful Citizen and 16 on oh. Don't Panic. Oh, what's going on? I hear gunfire again. You know what? I mean, this is, this is going to be suicide, but apparently we've got a little faction battle going on with some of these people. I don't know what's going on. Let's get in on this. 
And there we go. I'm I'm dead. Oh man, that was quick. <laughs> oh, it sucks being a noob again. So now that we've died, we'll go back to the cloning facility. I'll use uh, one clone to regenerate health and come on back. If, like I said before, if I run out of clones and money, that's it. Character's dead. Got to start all over. Uh, with a new character, new money, new items, everything. You don't get to retain anything from your previous tune. So, guys, this is uh, Face of Mankind. If you want to take a look at it, head on over to MMOBomb.com. Get some more information on it. If you're looking for something different, something with a little more role-playing involved in it, and uh, definitely the whole persistent world thing is really cool if you want to take the time to get involved with one of these factions and start a massive PvP war against a, another faction to take over some worlds. You've got a lot of opportunity to do some really neat things in this game. But you've got to put in the time. It's not one you're going to pick up and two hours le uh, later you'll be level 15. Not going to happen here. So I'm Magic Man from MMOBomb.com. As always, make sure you rate, comment, like, subscribe. Come on over to the site. We love having you. Check out all the other shows on there. We've got some great people doing some great work just to get you some information. And as always, guys, I'll see you out on the servers.